So one of the most frequently asked questions I would get is how do you go about training to swim the English Channel? The most important thing is being able to withstand the cold for so long. Um, then very closely after that is being fit enough and strong enough to get across any great distance. Um, and then closely third to that, which is all encompassing, is just being as fit and healthy as you can. Um, being as strong and able and up for the challenge as possible so you can deliver on the day whatever that's going to be. So I try to run 5k every lunchtime. I, I work, um, but I do have a lunch break and I'm lucky that uh, my office is based in a nice spot. It doesn't matter if it's in a town centre, I still would go out. The, the ground's starting to get wet, so it is getting muddy, it's colder, it's slippier, you need to be careful, you don't want to sustain any injuries. Big room, um, you'll soon see is a series of set postures in extreme heat. And that's the bit I struggle with. I don't struggle with the postures. I'm not perfect at them, but I don't find that bit the challenge. It's staying in the heat. But it also really complements swimming. And I see a lot of people like sprinters and strength, um, you know, weightlifters and all sorts, just trying to keep themselves aligned and as strong as possible by doing Bikram yoga. I try to make sure my swimming time is quality and quantity so I mix the two up. I don't have a private trainer, um, I can't afford anything like that. So I try to learn from the best that I can so I meet up with really good swimmers, I train with very good swimmers, I try to get as many tips as I can off really good coaches. So. Um, in that respect, I would train with the local masters groups um, and basically any evenings that I can, um, I will pop along to one of those and sometimes I'll piggyback it on to another swim class or do an hour's warm up and then do a master's session. Um, it surprises me and I know it sounds a bit odd, but I've learned that it takes me a good hour to warm up properly before I'll swim anything near a efficient stroke. Um, so I use the hour class before to get ready to then pelt it out um, for a hard, more technical master's session. Um, then I'll do a long distance swim set, ideally at an Olympic size swimming pool because turning every 25 metres does my nut in. It makes you very sick and dizzy. Some people it doesn't, but it does for me. And in the summertime I do the distance in rivers like this or um, in the sea when I can get to it. The cold water acclimatization I do all year round um, and I come to places like this simply because we live I live so far from the sea um, and it's really important like it's a skill in itself to know how to do it safely and to learn what your limits are and to literally take it one to ten seconds at a time when you're starting to get into cold water swimming. The way I compare it is in the really cold spending five or ten minutes swimming in there safely and sensibly could add on your ability to withstand the cold by an hour or two um, when you're actually out in a long distance swim um, in a warmer uh, time of the year. The swim that I'll be doing is in June. It's going to be the coldest time. It's the start of the season. Um, so it'll probably only be a couple of degrees lesser than this but when you're potentially in it all day like I will be at my swim speed, um, the, the best you can prepare for that, uh, the better. You can see the sun's come out today, which is lovely. Um, so I'm gonna go for a little puddle. I've just measured the temperature. So 15.2 degrees, that is luxurious compared to sea temperatures and compared to the temperatures this place plummets to in the winter time so this river will get down to five degrees easily come january and you'll see some pretty hard videos come that time so uh just back after having a hot tea in the car there after swimming on the river today um it's still quite warm but i'm still quite cold and uh it's because the wind picked up but it was really nice to get out the current's really strong today um, because of the heavy rainfall so didn't go too far but that's when it's really good because you can just get in and swim against the current you're almost stationary so it's a really good workout for the muscles and you don't have to go too far so 
uh, it's handy whenever you don't have uh, somebody kayaking with you or whatever. So yeah, good workout today. Stay dry, not that that really matters when you're swimming. And um, see what else I can get in, squeeze in during the week. But yeah, good swim out today. So back home again now, warmed up and um, pleased with that week's training that I managed to get in. I would say I'm about 55, 60% of where I need to be at the minute. So I have a way to go and a lot of more hard work to put in, but I'm taking my swim cap off for now and um, putting my normal hat back on and getting ready for work tomorrow and getting the house in shape and things that we all do. So thank you very much for everyone that's following this and that's taken an interest. If you want to learn something about swimming or ask anything, just pop a question on the Facebook page or ask the BHS. And um, we're gonna do lots of different videos on this. So if you have any ideas on subjects, um, we might do some on equipment or rules or things like that. Whatever you wanna know, just give us some ideas. And if you can, please do sponsor me. That's what this is all about, raising money for the BHS. So the link's below, whether it's a pound or a hundred pounds, whatever you can manage, we would be very grateful. Many thanks. See you soon. Bye.